It's a great feeling to be here, just to be able to look outside and sit around. Today I washed my car and did nothing else and just sat around and sort of recuperated. Yesterday I was getting home, I was a little manic and just running and having to do everything. And now I can just sit back and try and re, you know, get my our lives back together and on our own schedule. And it's just nice to be home. And, you know, getting rid of all the stress of not knowing who, you know, when somebody else is in control of your body, you know, your, what you're doing and when you're doing it. Um, you know, the freedoms that we have and, you, and when they take them away from you, it's um, it's an um, interesting feeling that you know you're, you know, you're not in control. We have, you know, we were at the mercy of the government, the CDC, and then at, at the end, the state of um, Texas or the city of um, San Antonio, the county out there, and then the governor in uh, Texas got involved in um, trying to make some um, more regulations for us to go through. Right, we're on the Diamond Princess. We're supposed to get off after 29 days on February 3rd. February 3rd, we had our, um, we went to have our dinner with our friends at our table. We had the same people at our table for the whole, whole 29 days. We got to know them quite well. They say in the last night of the cruise, you put your luggage out in, your, in the hall, have one set of clothes to change into. The luggage is gone by the time you get back from dinner. You wake up in the morning and they have a schedule when you're getting off the ship. They want you off right away so they can clean it up again and get, get the next group of people on and go. They're really efficient. When we got back from dinner, our luggage was back in our rooms. And we were like, uh-oh. So February 4th, we were on the ship. We weren't allowed to leave, but we still weren't under lockdown. February 5th, they decided you're now quarantined to your rooms. Everybody get in your room don't come out. So then it got serious, and we were in our room. Um, we were in an interior cabin, 10 by 20, a queen-size bed and one um, desk chair. So we laid in bed the whole time. We were supposed to get off the third. We left the 17th late at night on a, um, we, were, went, we were found out that earlier that day we were being flown by the U.S. government to the United States. At that point, we didn't know where we were going. And we were in a big military style transport plane. And mostly people were in a 12 and a half hour flight on an airplane. And, um, you know, the conditions were, you know, it wasn't a commercial airliner by any means. Only way this test works is if you have a fever that indicates the virus has a high enough population to be discovered by the test. So all this talking about testing people, it's, it doesn't make any difference. You can have the virus in you that hadn't been um, building enough of a population to make you sick that wouldn't show up. But once you have a temperature, then the population of that virus is detectable enough to indicate that you were sick or not. Well, yesterday I went and got in the mail. That's half of it. Um, I threw my half out and went through it. Uh, my wife's still working on there. I, we had a, an Italian sub from a local sub shop, homemade roll, and the Italian sub, we craved that. Because every meal we had was a prepared uh, hot meal. We just wanted a sandwich or something like that. 